Hello, on Eyewitness Report this week, we journey to Nasarawa State to check out the State of Government College Cafe. What's the state of infrastructure there? Thereafter, we'll return to Aurelia Gege Council area in Lagos State, where the construction of a major alternate road appears to be attracting attention. And finally, we'll shift focus to Mubarak Bridge in Sabu area of Ushubu in Ocean State. Sit back as we take you on this ride. I am Chris Elams. Our attention is drawn here by this photo sent into our eyewitness portal by Ahmed Abdullahi showing the infrastructure decay at the government college Kefi, Nasarawa State. The Premier College was established over 60 years ago and it is one of the largest in the defunct northern Nigeria, sitting atop a huge landmass. The college was funded by the northern government before the creation of Benue and Plateau states and has produced prominent Nigerians, including the late President Musa Iardua, the Minister for Information, Lai Mohammed, and his sports counterpart, Solomon Dalong, to mention but a few. At present, the college is being funded by the Nasarawa state government and appears to now live on its past glory. Our visit here reveals the extent of neglect the school appears to have suffered, as structures built during the colonial era have been left abandoned. <laughs> Students are seen in clusters carrying out various chores, such as fetching water, washing clothes, <laughs> and some sleeping in an environment that doesn't seem conducive. <laughs> this place served as a dining hall, which was last used over 20 years ago. Uh, thank you for great attention. Of Today it's more for dump site and toilet for some people. <laughs> However, the school principal says plans are on the way to renovate the place. It was a dining hall, but had been abandoned by now for more than 10 years because of uh, the nature of uh, the way it is, it is and the new, new one has been built. So because it was built, this one is abandoned. The plan is on ground for renovation. Since the abandonment of that dining hall, action has since shifted to this hall, which is in no way better than the abandoned site. Here is Adeja House, one of the hostels burned by students about 20 years ago. An old student gives an account of the incident and calls on his fellow old students to collaborate with the state government to restore the lost glory of the school. We call on the old boys to, as a matter of urgency, get themselves together as classmates, as individuals, whatever it is, to be able to come back and see what they can do to the college. If we don't do that on our own, I'm sure in the next uh, few years, if we leave them like this, there will, be no, there will be no college again. And that is why this, the more we have them coming here, the more we want them to see how they can do to put back this house or houses that are burned down. In the course of our visit here, we met with the state government team led by the Commissioner for Education on a familiarization tour. She confirms that the governor has taken note of the condition of the school and has declared a state of emergency in the education sector. The school in question is one of our best schools so far in the state. And it's one of those premier schools that the governor earlier earmarked for intervention. He has started from science school life here, he has finished with science school life here. He's coming to Government College Kefi, then Government College Nasra Egon, and Government College Nasra, Nasra Local Government. These are the four premier schools he wants to intervene and re reposition them to meet up the Center for Excellence. Um, 
as you can see, he has declared state of emergency in education, as I earlier said. Therefore, this time around, now that the budget has been passed, all effort would be geared towards education. We are repositioning education, and definitely infrastructural development is one of those basic things that we are going to do in the educational sector. Prior to our fact-finding mission, the state governor, Tanku Almakura, had visited here in 2015, inspiring hopes that the school will feel its intervention. Everybody collects their things. No. Now I am fixing this. What is that building supposed to be? This one or the other one? No, the one, the one, the one with, the, with the carcass. Oh, it's a car park. Car there. Car park. Car park. Yes, Why don't you put a room on it? <laughs> that's the way I came and met it, sir. Huh? Uh, this is just the way I came and met it. Uh, but you should put a room on it so that you could park your cars there. Yes, and okay, all sir. these vehicles that are disused, I don't want them here. I'm going to visit this school again. Because all this disused vehicle should, you should remove them. I think the people on the South State will see gradual and consistent uh, renovations of schools uh, so that our children uh, would be able to have conducive environment to be able to pursue the academic life. As it stands, the intervention is yet to come. And the question is, should they continue to be expectant or wait for another Moses? Thank you.